All right, folks, so the day has arrived for the unveiling of the grades of my 2019 Enhanced Reverse Proof American Silver Eagles. Uh, we got them back from PCGS. I got them back, actually got them back, you know, about a week or two ago, but things with the holidays and this and that, you know, life and whatnot. I've uh, been very busy, um, so I wasn't really able to make this video as of yet. So I'm going to show the grades that I got. Um... You know, it's a, it a very uh, anticipating thing to be looking for forward to. Um, you know, with PCGS, they let you, you know, see what the grade is before you even get it. You can see it online. And when I tell you, it was it was so tempting to try and look ahead of time, but I didn't do it. You know, I want to wait. You know, it gives you something to look forward to when you get the box. And then getting the box was jumping over hurdles because it comes back as signed, you know, the signed mail. And um, the where I lived, the mailmen are a bunch of whatever. Um, and I had to go to the facility. And the facility itself, you got to stand in line because it's also a passport facility. And you're dealing with people. Uh, don't let me get started with it. I got it. That's all that matters. It is what it is. It's in my hands. So now time to show off the grades of what we got. Now as a re little refresher. We got two of them. Um, and I was lucky enough to get two. So let's see what we got. And again, we sent them off to PCGS. Um, I was very happy dealing with them. I was very happy with the customer service. I was very happy with everything as far as PCGS is concerned. Um, you know, you really got a 50-50, a you know, of who you go for, either PCGS or NGC. I wouldn't recommend the other the other uh, uh, grading services just personally from my, you know, from me, pers my perspective. Um, if you got something like, a, like a, a, an, an error coin or something like that, you can always go with Annex, you know, just to show that, it, you know, it's an actually certified error. Uh, but for something where you're actually going for the grade of it and you want the most, you know, accurate grade and the most reliable grade, PCGS, that's my, that's personally my way of viewing. And so now let's do the review. So here we are. These are the coins. These are the grades. And this is what we got. And as you can see, we got one out of PCGS Proof 69. And we got one that was that came back as a 70. And not for nothing, I looked at these under a scope. They're exactly the same. I don't know what they were necessarily looking for. I was looking into the fields and around the rim. And I was looking at different things. If I had to really, really like nickel and dime, there is a slight, slight. I mean, when I tell you slight. A little bit of the strike in here in the stars and like going into her face, it's it's a lit well, again. If I was really really, I mean, I'm talking fine tooth comb now, finding the difference between the two. So so in the, with this aspect here, I was actually happy to get 169, 170. Would have been great to get 270s, but I was I I really looked them over, you know, to see what are they grading that is differentiating between a 69 and a 70. And the conclusion I came up with, they didn't want that many 70s on the market because then it blows up the market. So they threw me 169 and 170. And I got the two certificates. As you can see, they are not signed. Um, the serial numbers that we got for, for these coins are a little bit high. You know, they're, they're a little bit up there. They're not outrageous and they're not, you know, you know low, obviously. But for, again, for those of you that don't know, 1 through 100 was signed by the Mint Director. If you guys got that, you got a gold mine. No matter how you slice it, you're making your money back if you're deciding to sell these coins. Um, and if you're not, you're not. But if you are, you are definitely making your money back for, for what was it, a $70 investment. Um, but if you had the one that was autographed, the 1 through 100 uh, CO number um, that was signed by the Mint Director, you're sitting on a gold mine. Congratulations to you. But what we got... 69, 70. Now my plans, what I'm planning on doing with this. And again, I'm a collector. I'm a collector at heart. That's what I am. It's what, you know, it's, it's what, what, what brought me into all this here. The 69, I am going to put it up for sale. The 70, I'm keeping for myself. Now, the market has gone down drastically, and that was expected. Once everybody got their coins back, it's going to be flooded. Your Ebays, your this, your that, wherever people go and sell the coins. It's, I mean, 
the quick flippers are going to be dumping these things. And that's exactly what they did. Dumping these things onto the market. And then what happens? You had a supply and demand situation at hand. In the beginning, the prices were up. Now everybody put them out there. Now the prices are going down. Because all those quick flippers, they just want the money. They want to get it as fast as they can and make, make whatever they can off it. They're happy with, you know, $200, $300 invest, you know, you know, you know, uh, 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 you know, to make the, you know, make, make the 200, $300. My plan, sell the 69, see what I can get for it. I'm not going to low ball. I'm also not going to high ball. I'm going to ask for a fair market value number for today's value. But the 70, I am keeping for myself. That's going to go into my collection. It's going to go down, you know, to my kid. Um, and that's really where it's going to be. You know, right now, just to, you know, for argument's sake, right now, you know, the 70s were going... For around five, six grand, somewhere around there at its peak. Uh, now they're at like settling kind of around three. 250, uh, you know, 2,500, 3,000, somewhere in that ballpark, which again, incredible, incredible flip if you're making the flip. But for me, I'm a collector, I'm keeping the 70. That's my plan. Now, some of you might also be questioning what's this green stuff? All over here. I'm not letting you know what serial numbers I got. When I do sell these, I don't want to know that these are coming for me. So for everybody out there that's making these videos, putting these coins on, on YouTube and whatnot like that, I would personally recommend you covering your serial numbers. That's just my personal advice. I'm not saying anything bad is going to happen, but it's just my, my, again, my personal opinion because there are nefarious people out there and this is what people do. You know, so... Just keep them quiet. Keep it, you know, you know, keep your serial numbers down. Cause if I see your serial number, I know who it's coming from. I know your channel. I know what you're worth. I see what your your, your inventory is, and yeah, there's a potential that bad things can happen at that point. But this is my review. This is my grading. This is what we got. I'm happy with it. Even if I got two sixty nines, I'd be happy with that. I'm. I, I love the coin. It, it's absolutely gorgeous. You know, for any of you that haven't seen it yet. This is the 70. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece of artwork. It truly is. Show it to you this way. And there's the S that everybody's looking for. I mean, they're, they're, they're gorgeous. Gorgeous, the way that the leaves, you know, I'm sorry, the, the feathers are and whatnot. You know. Here she is. Absolutely beautiful. You know, if I had to make one critique on the PCGS uh, uh, grading, you know, you got the, the hard plastic, which I like, which is one of the main reasons, you know, not one of the main reasons, but what I liked about the PCGS uh, uh, doing the, the certificate. The back is plain. The reverse, they could have did something on this reverse here. They could have. But this is what it is. This is what it is. You know, the interest in this coin is absolutely incredible. You know, I, I, I mean, I think it was just because of the mess-ups with the mint and everything like that. But, you know, not even the, 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 the interest was incredible. What I found the most incredible was, good Lord, were the haters coming out when it came to this coin. When I first was talking about it and I showed that I had two oh Oh, me when I tell you I had hate thrown my way. And, and you know... Guys, if you really have the time in your life to be spitting, you know, the, the you know some vile crap to you know towards a guy who's sitting here in his living room making freaking YouTube videos, you know, hey, I'm sorry for your life. You, you know, I am that that your life is just not that important enough uh, that you got to go and find people online and and you know try and do, you know talk all this craziness to them. Quite frankly, I don't care. You know, you you think that you're, you're, you're getting on people and getting under their skin and whatnot like that. Folks, the things I've been with in life, things I've dealt with, things I've seen, things I... Trust me when I tell you. There's nothing you can do to me or say to me, I should probably say better, that's really going to affect me and, and who I am and change me. And for all you that was that was making negative comments like that, guys, really, this one's for you. I did not lose no sleep over with the things you were saying. Really, I didn't. I, I, I really, I, I, every single one of you that, that said something negative, I really, really, really and truly 
I enjoyed it. Throw the negative comments, please. Come on, I, I could use a couple laughs, you know, you know, here and there. Uh, so I, I, I appreciate your negativity because it kind of brings, you know, you know, it, it, hey, it, it makes me, it makes me feel like I'm actually affecting somebody. You know, I mean, if you, if you got the time to go and, and get hate, you know, send hate towards me, bring it on. I'll be more than happy to welcome it. Trust me when I tell you like that. You don't intimidate me. You don't scare me. You don't do none of that stuff that or whatever the hell you think you're trying to do. I don't even know. I couldn't even fathom the fact. If, if I watch a video and there's something I don't like on it, I, I, there's this magical thing I do if I don't like something that I'm watching. I turn it off. It's just that simple. You don't like what you're watching? Look at something else. What do you keep watching for? What the hell are you writing freaking paragraphs? And I'm talking paragraphs. I mean, fucking, excuse me my language, but fucking Moby Dick wasn't as long as some of these freaking uh, uh, hateful uh, uh, messages that people are putting on some of the videos. Come on. Like I said, I, I really found it uh, uh, rather enjoyable. So, this is the video. This is my unveiling. If you guys got something negative say to hear, because I got two. Ooh, I got two. And you didn't get any. You know, if you got something negative to say, please, I welcome. You know, you know I, I, I enjoy the negative comments because they they make me chuckle inside it gives me a nice little warm spot you know to to read the negativity but everybody else who does support my channel and appreciates the fact that what i'm bringing to you is, i appreciate all of you if you guys are new to my channel you're not a supporter of my channel and you and you know you're interested in some of the content that i give please i, I welcome the support that you're you know, giving to me you know i i try and do a lot of different things on 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 the youtube thing you know, I'm just a regular guy just making some videos to entertain a few people. That's really my, my whole goal and my logic. So, I appreciate every one of you, you know, from the haters to the supporters and everybody in between. Love you guys. Y'all have a blessed one. And if I don't see you beforehand, have a very happy new year. Ciao.